If you manage more than one social media account, then you know how difficult it can be toggling between accounts to upload posts, manage comments, and review statistics. Sure, you can do it all on your phone, but at some point you'll run into limitations and you'll want to start looking at better ways to manage your social media activities. Facebook have a great solution that lets you manage both your Facebook posts and Instagram posts all in the one place. It's called Facebook Creator Studio and it's easily accessible via your web browser. Just go to business.facebook.com forward slash creator studio or even easier to remember, just go to facebook.com forward slash creator studio. You can also access the creator studio interface from within your Facebook page by clicking on the publishing tools icon at the top of the page, then selecting creator studio. There's an app version available too. So make sure you go to the app store and download whether you're on iPhone or Android. The app has much of the capabilities of the creator studio web interface, including viewing insights, commenting, editing existing posts. However, at this stage, it doesn't allow you to create and schedule new posts. So for now, to get access to everything that I'll show you today, you need to go to the website version of Creator Studio. Once you load the page, you'll see a blue bar on top. If you click on the Instagram icon, it'll take you to your connected Instagram accounts. If you don't see your Instagram accounts, simply click on the Instagram accounts menu item on the bottom left, then add Instagram account on the top right. Now you can add as many Instagram accounts as you like, provided you have the login and passwords available. This is great for adding all of your own accounts and any client accounts that you manage. We'll come back to Instagram later on in this tutorial. For now, let's go back to the Facebook accounts by clicking on the Facebook icon at the top in the menu bar. So let's go ahead and create our first Facebook post using Creator Studio. On the top left of the screen is a large Create Post button and to the right of it, you can see the pages that you manage. These can be a combination of your own Facebook business pages and any client accounts that you've been given admin access to manage. To create a post, click on the Create Post menu item. If you have multiple accounts, a panel will slide in from the right-hand side of the screen with a list of your accounts. Click on the account page that you want to publish the post to, and now you'll see a screen that resembles the Facebook business page that you would most likely be familiar with. In the top section, you can select the type of post, be it a live video, event, offer, or job post. Below, you can enter the text for your post. Next, you can add a video, photo, create a poll, etc. In this example, I'm just gonna create a photo post. So I'll click on the share photo. I can select one photo or multiple photos to form a gallery. Once they're uploaded, I can publish the post right away or take advantage of the scheduling capability of Creator Studio and click on the arrow next to the publish button, click on schedule, and then select the date and time that you wish your post to go live. Let's go back to the drop down arrow to see what other options we have. We can backdate the post or save as a draft and come back to it later to edit and complete when we're ready to do so. Draft mode is also useful when you're collaborating with others, be it team members or clients who need to sign off on posts before they go live. If your colleague or client has admin access to that page, they simply need to log into the Creator Studio on their web browser or if they've downloaded the Creator Studio app, they can go into it, go into the content library, find the post, edit it and sign it off and even post it themselves when it's ready to go. That leads us to the next section, which is the content library. Click on the content library menu on the left to access it. Here you'll see a list of your recently published or archived posts, including any that are currently in draft mode or scheduled. If you hover over the thumbnail or title, a three dotted icon will appear. Click on this to access some options. You can edit the post, view the post insights, boost the post, which means you can create an advertisement for it, view the post in detail, change the date, or delete it. If you look over the details column, you'll see a few icons. For photo posts, you can see the stats of any boosted promotion. For video posts, you'll also see a monetization icon and cross post icon. The monetization icon is for those of you who've met the criteria for monetizing video on Facebook. Unfortunately, that's gonna preclude a few of you out there who haven't quite built up the page following to qualify for the Facebook Creator Studio Partnership Program. The requirements are that you need to have over 1,000 followers on your page, 
15,000 post engagements in the last month, 180,000 minutes of video views between all your videos in the last 60 days before you can become part of the Facebook Creator Studio Partner Program. If your Facebook page is eligible, you can then go ahead and monetize any video content that is longer than three minutes. Next is the insights section where you can view the performance of your video posts. Other post insights can be seen in the previous content library section under the post submenu I went through earlier. The insights tab is dedicated to video. A great way to improve your Facebook video content is to better understand what's working and what's not. The performance insights section in Creator Studio shows you insights on the performance of your videos, the videos you share and the videos you cross post across all your Facebook pages. The large graph at the top shows you overall minutes viewed and if you scroll down, you get details into each video post. Click on the thumbnail or title to get access to the stats, including the minutes viewed, one minute video view, 10 second views, three second views, average video watch time, audience retention, audience and engagement. In the loyalty submenu, you can get information about your followers activity and returning viewers. In the audience tab, you can find out demographic data about your viewers, including age and gender, country of origin, language, interests, and so on. In the retention page, you get a large graph that shows you how long people are watching all of your videos, and then below, a breakdown on each video. Next, in the earnings section, you can see any revenue that you've earned from your videos. Once again, a reminder that this only applies to those of you who've successfully been accepted into the Facebook Creators Program. Next in the left-hand menu is the inbox where you can view and reply to messages on your page or posts. If you want to apply for monetization, click on the next menu item and click on the specific page you want to monetize to see if you meet the eligibility criteria. The Copyright Rights Manager is for managing any copyright issues and these will most likely appear if you use copyrighted music in your video. Similar to the YouTube audio detection system, your videos may be flagged if found to use commercial music without a license. Next, we have Sound Collection, and this is a useful resource providing you with free music that you can use in your videos to avoid those copyright issues. Pages is where you can view all of the pages you manage and see how many followers you have along with your page role. So that's all there is to it. As I mentioned earlier, you can do much of the same with your Instagram pages using the Creator Studio. So if you wanna create or manage your Instagram posts, click on the Instagram icon on the top menu. Once again, on the top left, you'll see a Create Post button. If you click on that, there's a couple of options, including the ability to create an Instagram feed post or a post for IGTV. I've created a very specific tutorial on the topic of uploading content to Instagram using the Creator Studio, and I'll leave a link to that one in the description box below. On a final note, don't forget to download the Creator Studio app for your mobile phone. It's available on both Android and iPhone, and it gives you access to many of the features we've gone through today in a mobile-friendly interface that's easy to use and convenient. You can edit posts, reschedule, and view insights on your phone. Unfortunately, at this stage, you can't create a new post from this app, so you do need to use the web interface as I've outlined in this tutorial when it comes to creating the posts. However, it's really handy having access to these posts or giving your clients access to the app so they can view and edit post drafts, respond to comments, and view insights on their mobile phones. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to put them in the comments box below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more from me, Hit me up with a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell next to subscribe to ensure that you receive notifications when new videos are available. See you on the next one. Bye for now.